Hey guys, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I'm here with a new Disney Infinity 3.0 accessory unboxing. It is the Figure Globe. Uh, today, while out on the hunt for the Light FX figures, I stumbled upon this Figure Globe here in the uh, GameStop store. And so I picked one up. <clears throat> it retails for um, $14.99, which uh, is... Right about, I believe the um, the 1.0 cases were um, $19.99, if I remember correctly. But feel free to yell at me in the comments if I am wrong. But I thought we would unbox this and take a look. So uh, let's let's take a peek here. So the figure globe fits all Disney Infinity 3.0 figures, standing globe or hanging ornament display style. So that's interesting that they kind of went with this uh, ornament kind of thing, but. Maybe we'll toss it on the Christmas tree and see what it looks like. Uh, easy to insert and remove figures. Cool. Take a look at the back here. It's made by Power A. Um, this is the second accessory that we've uh, that we've seen so far for 3.0. The first being the um, uh, Power Disc Wallet. Uh, and that's only at Toys R Us, it seems like. But who knows, the, the accessories might also make their way around. Um, bottom, there's the top. All right, so let's take a peek. Uh, there's only, I've been to three GameStops. I was doing a little bit of investigative journalism today um, while taking a look around, and each GameStop only got one of these. Um, so, uh, you know, if you are gonna want more than one, you might have to make some travels to get it. Boy, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Man, that's huge. That is really big. When you look at this picture, you don't uh, really appreciate how large this thing is. Man, that's really cool. I kind of, um, I really dig it. It's uh, pretty sweet. Um, just get rid of this bag here. Uh, it's, uh, it's big. Let's take a look at it here. So it's got this cool little um, infinity uh, uh, little plaque in there, which is kind of cool. It's got uh, a nice uh, little three ridge thing where the figures can slip right in, which is nice. Uh, the bottom have these rubber feet, so it really um, really holds. Um, <laughs> now, when they say a figure like an ornament, um, that's like half the size of some people's Christmas trees. So uh, I'm sure that will certainly be an interesting quote unquote ornament. Um, there are, there's nothing in the box other than that bag, so I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so let's try to... Oh, okay, so you just turn it, and it pops open. It pops right open. So that's pretty rad. Dig that. Um, and then, of course, the box shows Mickey, so I thought I would grab Mickey first to check it out. And so let's see here. Um, hmm. My little, what am I, what am I missing here? I guess maybe have to really push hard to get them in. No. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I, well, kind of had a good bit of resistance there. So there it is. Um, I don't believe uh, you're going to be able to keep these in the case and use them. Um, it doesn't. Uh, but we'll, I, I don't know the best way to test that out. I'll have to take it down to uh, the system I have hooked up and, and test it, and I'll, I'll put it in the article when I write it up. But um, so, uh, and then you take the uh, Mickey, put him in there, and so it says it can fit every 3.0 figure. And I thought, hey, let's test that out. Um, so I thought, well, what's a big? What was what was one of the big figures that originally came out? And Zeb's pretty big, right? So I thought, hey, let's test, let's try it out. So let's click in Zeb there. And sure enough, it clicks around there. And Zeb fills it out really nicely, actually. Kind of really dig that. Um, so I was like, okay, well, Zeb's good and all, but he's big, but there's they've got bigger. So I was like, well, let's try um, Darth Maul. Because he's got that really wide lightsaber, which we all knew was... Uh, was trouble when they were designing the figure um, for packaging. 
Um, and so right off the bat, I'm already seeing that you're, you're going to have to be careful of like figures like this, where the sand from his base interferes with what direction he faces because you these little feet get in the way. So you can only turn them so far. As you can see, I already actually, I just took a nick out of it. Um, which is, you know, just so be careful. And so here's Darth Maul. If I'm careful, nope, hold on. He just makes it in there, but it bends the saber a little bit. If you look, yeah, it definitely bends the saber. So, and then you gotta be careful when you're taking these in and out. And then um, I thought, well, what's the biggest Infinity character in the land? Hulkbuster. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see if it takes Hulkbuster. It does. Surprisingly well. Hold on. I might I might have to take that. Nope, there it is. And he fills it out really nicely. That that actually looks really cool. I would love to see like one of these, like, you know, properly lit by some of the awesome fans out there with like some cool accent lighting and stuff. But that is really, really cool. Um, it doesn't look like you can take this thing off. Um from what I can tell. No, it's stuck on there uh, permanently. I don't know how I feel about this little red handle, but otherwise, there you go. There is the, there is the uh, display globe. And I like that they left it ambiguous uh, with no 3.0 on there, it just says Disney Infinity. And I thought just for comparison's sake, I've got, um, whoa, man camera down for the sake of comparison i grabbed the um uh a 1.0 case just uh kind of show how they look i haven't even put this one together yet there we go so there you go there's your uh there's your side by side of the uh, 1.0 case and the uh, and the new case so uh, there you go guys as always thanks for watching this was a long video i'm sorry in advance but hey we got it we had to test it out we had to see if all the figures fit in there so uh, thanks for watching visit us at disneyinfinitycodes.com